Hey there, good morning everybody. It's Money Monday, or Monday Money, whatever you want us to call it and everything. Um, the, yeah. Two things that I know that I honestly believe God wants me doing. Taking ugly houses, making them beautiful, and then telling people about financial independence and hoping to invoke some type of change that they will start doing something different with their finances. Think a little bit differently. Um, my whole thing is, is I want everybody to wake up one day and be in a position where if they got a job they hate, they don't have to go. If they got a boss they don't like, they don't have to work for them. You know, if they decide they want to do two weeks in the Maldives, that's what they go and do. Unfortunately, the odds are against us. We've been lied to our whole life in this country. And the other thing is, is that the chance of you holding on to it, if you make it overnight, is slim to none. And what I mean by that is, is you sign a big sports contract or you win the lottery. You know, those are two things that happen overnight. And it's absolutely insane. I think I read something about you know, at one time, Mike Tyson's net worth was over $300 million, And, you know, now it's where it's like $3.4 million. And I remember years ago reading an uh, article in Reader's Digest about how he would show up at people's houses and just leave Ferraris, Bentleys, uh, Lamborghinis, and, and just give them away. And when you have a tremendous amount of money, you can do that to a certain point. But once you start giving away 10 to 15 to 30, 150, $300,000 cars each month or, you know, in a year, so to speak. And, uh, you know, before you know it, that adds up. Well, how does that really relate to me? Because I will... The only way I'm going to ever own a supercar is if I get extremely sick, mad, wealthy, okay? And I just don't want to really work that hard to obtain that. The other thing is, is if somebody leaves me one. I don't know anybody personally with one that would do that, that were that close. So probably not going to happen, okay? I tell you what I do want is I want a Fastback 68 Mustang. I want it with a new motor, new AC, disc brakes all the way around. I just want the old body style, but I want all the luxuries of new modern technology. You can find that car for between fifty to a hundred thousand, and that's realistic. I, I would, I could see myself getting one of those, and I could see myself with a uh, ninety-four to ninety-six uh, Fleetwood Cadillac. Okay, I want it all murdered out, just total gloss black over everything. No vinyl, no cramp no chrome, nothing, just totally murdered out and probably about, oh, three to four inches off the ground and, um, you know, just a good cruising car. And um, so the reason I say all of that is, is this. You don't have to be Mike Tyson to waste money. You can be Robert Biggerstaff, you can be the average Joe and start and sit there and be throwing away money on things that don't put any money in your pocket and don't help you getting any closer to being in a situation where you have extra money coming in every month. You know, one of my goals for this year, and I am already doing it, is keeping better track of my numbers as far as how much labor is spent on working on my properties and how much rent comes in and all of that so that I know exactly how much each month the company makes in net profit, okay? And what I mean by that is, is that you could have $100,000 come in and you could have $50,000 go out. Does that mean you made $50,000? No, it does not. You still have to pay people. You still have to take care of expenses. You still have to do this, this, and this and everything. It's just not homeowner insurance. It's just not taxes. It's just not that. It's just not this. We have what we call net profit. Net profit is when all of the bills get paid, everybody's salary gets paid, and if you're not including your salary, you need to. Now, 
the way that my portfolio has been built has been that I have bought houses very cheap in very bad shape and done the work on them myself and then built them up, okay? And that, generally speaking, is about the easiest way for anybody to do something in real estate, building a portfolio of rental properties because you have time. And I've done this working evenings, I've done this working on weekends, and then when I had days off or holidays that I was off, you know, I would go and work on my properties as well. And that's what has helped me tremendously. It's like, you know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, had a, um, a freeze here in Florida. Had two properties that had busted pipes. We went and repaired those. I ended up probably saving one of them. We had to totally repipe the house. That would have probably been about 5,000. And the other repair would have probably been about three or 400 had I not done it myself. Okay, so we saved a tremendous amount of money. That money, money saved is money earned in the sense that, you know, half the battle is getting money coming in the account. The other half is keeping it in the account where it's not going back out. And so many people are like, as soon as we get the money, let's go ahead and, we'll, and we're going to start spending it. And, you know, we need to stay away from doing that as much as possible. The thing about it is, is that the more money that you keep, then you can put that into action and buy more things that are going to continue to produce money and put more money into your pocket. You know, eventually my exit strategy is, is to basically find an investor that will take my whole portfolio or, you know, do owner finance to the people that are living in the properties that I have. The thing about it is, is that they might not be in a situation when that comes about. Um, you know, who knows where the economy is going to be at that time. I, and I don't know when that time is that I'm going to look at doing that. Okay. Um, it's necessary to keep your eyes on the numbers. Okay. There's an extremely wealthy person out there. His name's Tillman Fertitta. Look him up, watch his stuff. He's extremely sharp. But that's his favorite saying, you need to know your numbers. Know your numbers. Guy owns casinos, restaurants, all kinds of stuff, okay? And that's one of the things that he talks about. And the thing about numbers is, is that we can track those. And if you can track it, you can measure it. You can see if you're doing good. You can see if you're doing bad, okay? But this shotgun approach to doing business in the sense that, you know, hey, I'm just going to shoot up in the air and, you know, I ended up with more money at the end of the month than I thought or than I started with, so I must have made money. That could be true. However, you might have a lot of money sitting in inventory somewhere that you're not accounting for. So, pardon me. You know, my whole thing is, is keep your eye on the numbers because the numbers don't lie and the numbers will let you know what it is that you're doing and if you need to make any adjustments, you know. I need to keep track as far as how much, you know, money I have spent on utilities. How much money have I done here? How much money have I done there? So, you know, these things are all important and they're important for you to be watching with your business as well. So I hope you got something out of this. Do me a favor, bang, bang, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about us, you know, leave me a comment. Hey, you suck. You're you got a booger hanging out your nose, whatever it is. Um, the other thing is, is if you would like a 15 minute phone call from me free, I do mentor people. That is something that I do charge for. The thing about it is, is that when somebody puts an investment into something, it tends to mean a whole lot more to them as opposed to if they receive that item for free, they, it's really not that important. Um, that's been my experience with it. Um, and unfortunately, if you're not paying for it, then I'm more worried about your financial success than you are. But if you want 15 minutes of my time, free of charge, okay, there's a email in the description on the video. Send me your phone number to that email and I will call you and we will talk and you will get 15 minutes of my time, no charge. And you can ask me anything you'd like. And generally speaking, if it's a, you know, a question having to do with legality, should I do this or that? I'm going to tell you, you need to consult an attorney, okay? Um, I'm not about to offer any advice that might have any type of liability or repercussions that'll be harmful to you or me. However, 
I have no problem giving you opinions, if you haven't noticed that already. So hope you have a wonderful day. Be productive, be profitable, and figure out who's got your money.